All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. This is what y'all been asking for. I'm glad to bring it to y'all. Now, I've heard a lot of things about Tom McDonald. I think I subtly reacted to one of his songs when he was talking about, uh, like, I'm not racist. I remember when Joyner Lucas came out with I'm Not Racist, and the the farmer dude with the, the overalls was in the room with Jonah Lucas and it, it was a viral thing. And I think Tom McDonald came out with a song like that as well. Y'all can let me know in the comments. But um, the first song we are gonna check out officially is Fake Woke. Now, I am a deer in the headlights. I know a, a, a little tiny, tiny bit about Dom, uh, Dom, I'm about to say Dom McDonald. <laughs> Tom McDonald, Dom. And uh, I like what he stands for already, just by you know seeing his his titles, his imagery, his visuals, his passion. I've seen a couple clips here and there, but we got the real thing right in front of us. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, roll the 5,000. I love y'all new subscribers. Without further ado, Fake Woke, Mr. Tommy. Let's get into it. I think it's crazy. I'm the one who they labeled as controversial, and Cardi B is the role model for 12 year old girls. Oh, drivers pushing no. Xanax at the top of the billboard. But if I mention race in a song, I'm scared I'll get killed for it. It's oh. backwards, it's getting exponentially dumb. It's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun. Eminem used to gay bash and murder his mom, and now he doesn't want fans if they voted for Trump. We're ashamed to be American. You should probably love it, cause you have the right to hate it and not get stoned to death in public. As children, we were taught how to walk and talk, but the system and wants adults to sit down and shut up. Cancel call. Mm. Wake up. <sighs> Wake up, y'all. <sighs> it's war time. Mm. Yes, it still stands. Now, Cardi B, I guess people will say she fell off, right? So she not the voice of the little girls now. But yes, I still do see little girls on TikTok and on Instagram. It, it just sit, I don't want to sit, I don't want to, it it quit to cut a nigga also don't get cut. And little girls are twerking and singing to this. The new chick nowadays, I spank. Giving her passes because she bad. She's a creative character. Because because we, we can talk this talk. I Spice is a creative character, y'all. I looked up her real name. Was it Isis? Who cares about her last name? Yeah. She is a destroyer by nature. Look at, that's like, I'm from New Orleans, so that's like a hurricane. Hurricane Katrina. It was supposed to be a category two, three. It was the most catastrophic hurricane ever in history. Y'all know what Katrina means? Y'all know what type of demon and demonic spirits that are in the name Katrina? There's no coincidence, y'all. And talking about he wants, or the society, the people who control the minds of society, because if you can control the minds of the public, you can control the minds of everybody. You can control their pockets. You can control their eating habits. Their outbursts, it's crazy, right? But yes, they do want the adults to shut up. That's why they give the adults little pay. So you only have enough to get a new apartment, to get a new car. That's only going to take you and your family to school, to work, and back. You barely, especially nowadays, you barely get able, you're, you're barely able to take a vacation once a year like they used to do. But the poor and middle class is a bridging gap to falling off the cliff. So it's, it's a bridging gap. Poor, middle class. Just because the middle class, you right here and you're poor, right? It don't make you better because you got a somewhat better job. You in HR, you in supplier demand, got a corporate job. And the poor class, you a blue collar worker, plumber. You work for the government, DMV, post office worker. The, the, the gap is right here and the bridge is right here. So just take two steps up. You right there, right? So 
That's a very, very great point. And I think back to our parents and grandparents and how much they, not all, how much a lot of our parents and grandparents just want us to be subservient because they had to serve to those type of rules and conditions. Not us, not me. I'm a warrior, baby. I'm a warrior. You see it in my eyes. What I'm doing right now is already breaking my generational curses. My whole bloodline, my whole family got diabetes and heart defects, heart problems, died of strokes, cancer, lung cancer, smoking, drinking, gimp, set, and all of that. Heroin, everything. I don't got nothing. I'm not allergic to shit. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I'm not tooting my own horn because I don't do those things. Like I'm better than people who do. But I know myself. Because I care about my wealth, my peace, my health, and my happiness. You goddamn right. My bad, y'all. <laughs> hey, we, we, we gotta go on a whole tangent. Because we own this shit. We, we can talk all day. You know that, right? We can talk all day. Culture runs the world now. The planet went crazy. Label everything we say is homophobic or racist. If you're yep. white, then you're privileged. Guilty by association. All yep. childhood heroes got me too or they're rapists. They never yep. slaves. They realized that they don't need the chains. They gave us tiny screens. We think we free because we can't see the cage. They knew that race war would be the game they need to play. For people to big teams, they use the media to feed the flame. They so fake woke. Facts don't care about feelings They know, they won't Tell me what to believe in <sighs> Tommy, you're really doing it to me, bro You're really doing it right now, Tommy I don't know whether I want to tackle you or give you a dap But look Let me tell you something very important I don't give a damn about weight, about wokeness Because they're turning being woke into a religion. The same way they've turned the lettered people, not being disrespectful, that the LGBTIAQ plus community into a religion, yes they are, is the same way they have transferred spirituality, wokeness into a religion. So this is what I'm saying. Y'all need to be aware. Y'all need to open your eyes. Excuse me, open your eye right here. If you had that itch right here, it's for a reason. There is a lot of agents who are placed to talk about these types of things in the music industry because music is the first way to enter our bodies without our permission. I'm going to say that again. Music is the first tool and the first way to get something to stick to our bodies and our minds without our permission. Hence why when you study in school, it takes you two hours, three hours to absorb it and learn it. But you can listen to one song three times. You know all the words. Our spine has a melodic beat, a melodic rhythm to it, right? 33rd vertebrae. Come on now. Let's talk that talk. So a lot, I'm not saying Tommy is one of them. But there's a lot of people that's placed in the industry from the FBI CIA, the government, who looks the part. Y'all gotta y'all gotta really understand what I'm saying here. Okay? Look at me when I'm saying this. A lot of these motherfuckers be acting like they're for the people. But they're only to get closer, they're only placed there to get closer to the people that is wanting to separate. AKA escape the matrix, escape the rat race. And that's what an agent does. An agent gets in the community, spreads toxins subtly, very subtly, very subtly. You would never know if you were not aware. And next thing you know, this person got all the details on the hoods, on the ideas that the adults have been concocting, who are the top dogs in the neighborhood, in the city, in the state. Where do people be going, you know, late night, after work, on Fridays and Saturdays? Like, what they be doing, what they be talking about? But all because, you know, they, they infiltrate a position that's like, all right, I'm for the people because they're not. So let's create the division between the people that's not for us and the people that is. 
but you forgot about this person who snuck in. Where did he come from? Where did she come from? Where did he or she live before this? Just think about it. All these people screaming facts, but they fake woke. Hate their neighbor because hmm. he wears a mask or he stays home. Has a mm. daughter, but his favorite artist said he slays hoes. Picks her mm. up from school, music slaps on the way home. Censorship's an issue because they choose what they erase. There's the difference between hate speech and speech that you hate. I think Black Lives Matter. Mm. Mm. Good perspective, Tommy. Hell yeah. There is a complete difference between hate speech and speech that you hate. Mm. There is a complete distinction between having self-esteem and building a fake esteem of somebody else's self. Because then you believe the lie, you see? But guess what? In the middle of the word believe is lie. B-E-L-I-E-V-E. -E -E. All this should be about division, huh, y'all? Division separation. Like, how many people on the internet making reactions like this can really talk this talk? And I'm not saying that I'm better because I can. And I this this is me. This is who I am off camera, at the gym, at Walgreens, at Walmart, at Aldi, at the store, you know, at an interview event, whatever. Like, this is who I am. I, this, this is who I've always been. I don't follow rules. I'm a warrior spirit. I'm a warrior. I have a heart of a fucking... No animal could compare. Right? But this should be about division and separation, y'all. Sad. Matter was the stupidest name when the system screwing everyone exactly the same. I just want to spend Thanksgiving Day with food and my family without mm. being accused of celebrating native casualties. Yeah, we yeah. So divided, it's black and white and political. Yeah. Kids are bigots, lip tards if you're liberal. There's yeah. Riots in our streets and it's just getting worse. Y'all screaming deep on the police. Y'all are genius for sure. They're underfunded already. They're way too busy to work. Order food and call the cops. See what reaches you first. Well, it depends where you are from. <laughs> I will say that. It depends where you're from. You know, if you're from the hood, DoorDash is not delivering to your house. I'm telling you, Grubhub is not delivering to your crib. And here's another way. Put y'all down on some game real quick. Here's another way you can study and learn the insides of how they operate. So, do y'all know that Every single hood, every single hood, not neighborhood, you see, there's a there's a societal difference mentally between the hood and a neighborhood, right? We got two different ideas of both of those meanings, right? But they're the same word. So they know a certain zip code or certain zip codes in the city that are going to keep you broke and keep you enslaved, meaning... If you are a single mother with three kids, you, you can apply for food stamps and you will get it, right? Once you move out, you will not have those same benefits that you once had while you were a single mother making 60000 a year with three kids that you are fully responsible for. And they all do this by zip code. This is why tax liens and, and credit liens and credit in their eyes, is extremely important. Because once you make 65 with three kids as a single mother, a woman, oh, wow. Oh, wow. You, psh, you can move to, uh, you can move to the mid-city. You can move to the inner city. So now, they put you in a different tax bracket. But they already become racist and prejudiced and judgmental based off where you live. Look it up. Look it up. It's a it's a it's a very psychopathic thing. But this is how they dictate, you know, and they control. Just got the fucking puppet arms. This is how they control, y'all. Shit. This video, wow, bro.
Segregation ended, that's a lie in itself. That was a strategy to make us think they were trying to help. They knew that racism was hot if they designed it to sell. We buy up every single box and divide us ourselves. They so fake woke. Facts don't care about feelings. Guess who it's all funded by? <laughs> Black Lives Matter. Anybody who says, supports, invests in Black Lives Matter and you are black, you have melanin in your system, you're a dummy. I'm telling you that straight up to your face. You can go on Discord, you can call me, you're a dummy. You know who you're giving money to? The same people is who's wanting to depopulate your dumb ass and your family and your kids and your grandkids and your whole bloodline. But also on the flip side, if you constantly invest and support black businesses, as they say, not all black businesses need to be supported. I will say that too. Not all black businesses need to be funded because we need to start focusing on more quality. Give a fuck if you black. What is your quality looking like? Because family, relatives, friends, cousins, they won't get you rich and wealthy. They won't get you out the rat race. You know who will? Strangers. Strangers don't have a color. Strangers do not have a color, creed, religion, ethnic group, nothing. They'll do it. They'll be more than willing to help you. I like Tommy. I like him a lot. But I'm not about to get my feelings wrapped in it. <laughs> I'm not about to get my feelings wrapped in it because... I know how this music should be. I know how it be. get peace and wonder why it isn't working that's like sleeping with a football team to try and be a virgin politicians are for sale and someone always makes the purchase but you and i cannot afford it our democracy is worthless if a man has mental illness did you know why we elect a president that they have hand selected it's already rigged it's like betting prize picks on somebody who's injured it's like it's like betting parlays on somebody who's injured it's not gonna work it doesn't matter. You could you could bet higher, lower, whatever the fuck you want to do. It's not gonna work. <laughs> I love this shit. I can talk about this shit all day, all day, cause I study. I'm aware. And I had somebody. Shout out to y'all, by the way. Make sure y'all like the video if you haven't already. I love you guys. Somebody dropped a comment on. I think it was a uh, Earth sweatshirt. I said Earth. Wow, my brain moving too fast. <laughs> Earl sweatshirt and Vince Staples video. And they commented a pretty lengthy comment, said some great things about my breakdown and my energy and everything. And towards the end, they said, but if I can give you some advice, if I can give you some words, right? Because you give a lot of words. I want to give you some as well. They said, do not. Do not let your mind become so open to the point where your brain falls out. I said, damn. They were exactly right. And that's exactly what I commented. You are exactly right. Thank you. Because this shit is psychologically depressing. Once you study all the fuck shit that's going on in this system that we call the United States of America... We got Thanksgiving coming up in two weeks. It's, it's wow, man. It's like, fuck. This is why men, young men have a 54 or 54% suicide rate in America because of the heartbreak, the pain, the stress, the worry, the pressure, the women. Our parents, college, adulting too early, attempting to fit in, getting a job, being financially stable, not homeless, you know, giving yourself a nice shit like, dude, oh, it builds red pill rage for a lot of dudes. So 
So to the ones that have not and won't give up, thank you. I salute you. We, you need to spread more of your truth. You need to spread more of your knowledge because we need it. We need this shit. We need it, y'all. We need it. We need to uplift each other. Not wait for artists to do it. Rappers to do it. Thinking that they're our idols. As Kendrick said, Cole is not your savior. I am not your savior. Drake is not your savior. He's not going to come down and save you. Come down from where exactly? Exactly. His high horse, right? Because we separate. like this, and I'm not going to get into that. But this is why a lot of young dudes build the nihilistic perspective of life. And they can't get out of that. All this stupid. This is dumb. School's dumb. Teachers are stupid. Friends are dumb. Everything is dumb. Work is dumb. Life is stupid. I'm going to just I'm be here to die anyway. Like That cycle, bro, it's, it's, it's cancer called. It's cancerous. It is. It's almost like smoking a cigarette. Or how about this? Smoking five cigarettes a day. Two when you wake up, two before you go to sleep, and one during the day. Five a day. It's cancerous. I'm crazy, say it silently. When country's going crazy, we accept it as society. Get sick and take a pill. When the side effects get you high, you get addicted like these rappers dying, fighting with sobriety. Censoring the facts turns our children into idiots. They claim it's for our safety. I'll tell you what it really is. Removing information that empowers all the citizens. Oh my the truth God. doesn't damage points of view that are legitimate. They're trying to change amen to amen and women. How do we let them make praying a microaggression? I'm not even about to break that down, but y'all know what's up with that. Oh my goodness, Tommy. I'm calling you Thomas. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you, Thomas. That empowers all the citizens. The truth doesn't damage points of view that are legitimate. They're trying to change amen to amen and women. How do we let them make praying a microaggression? Instead of asking God for the Sensitive. strength to keep winning, we cheat to get ahead and then we ask him for forgiveness. Feminism. Talk about this stupid ass fake it till you make it bullshit. It's gonna come back to bite you in the ass. Don't look for us to help you. Used to be the most Fuck. righteous of fights, but these days it feels like they secretly hate guys. I don't trust <laughs> anyone who bleeds for a week and don't die. I'm just kidding. But everything else that I said is right. Hmm. They so fake woke. Wow. Facts don't care about feelings. They know they won't. Thomas, Thomas McDonald, Thomas McDonald. You really, you, <laughs> this reaction is almost 30 minutes long. It's all right. I got more to say. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Love y'all.